Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to The Road Warrior. I've noticed something here in Nashville. I don't know if you're seeing something, anything like this where you live. There are always regional convenience stores. Now, I, I said when I grew up in Virginia Beach, it was 7-Eleven. Um, up in Ohio, they became Circle K towards the end. They were called Holland Oil. Um, and, and there are just a few convenience store chains tied to each area. Here in Nashville, we had a local one called Mapco for a long time, and they're starting to spin some of their Mapco locations off to Circle K. And I think it's going to be probably the first time Circle K has been in the market. Uh, any Exxon station here for a long time had an, I guess it was an Exxon based convenience store called Tiger Mart that was tied to it. Um, and they sold all the Tiger Mart locations to 7 Eleven. And now 7 Eleven is back in the Nashville area for the first time, I believe, since the 1970s. It was here and then it left. Um, QT which I believe QT is actually based out of Missouri, but I've had most of my involvement with QT in Georgia and never been there. Um, they've got a location uh, about 15 miles north of Nashville, our first QT. Uh, of course, Bucky's won't be in Nashville per se, but there's going to have a location. Well, I think they've got one now about 90 miles south of Nashville. Um, we're going to have one 90 miles north of Nashville and then one to the east. And They were talking about having one in Clarksville which would have only been about 45 minutes away, and they scuttled that. But I found it interesting that, the, you know, Bucky's is making an entrance. They don't want to necessarily do in Nashville, per se, but on your way in, on your way out kind of thing. Uh, and then the big one, the big northeastern convenience chain, Wawa, uh, they're talking about coming into Nashville and actually are, are talking about buying a plot of land that's currently a, a, a golf range, a practice range. And I'm just wondering why so many convenience stores I mean, I realize Nashville is growing so rapidly, one of the fastest growing cities in America. But I would think if 7-Eleven and Circle K beat you to the punch, why would you come in if you were Wawa? I don't understand a lot about the convenience store world. Um, I've, I've had friends who've worked as, you know, middlemen as vendors to convenience stores. I've had friends who have actually worked in architecture and design convenience stores. But again, it's all very baffling to me how here for a long time we had the Mapco stores and we had a, a small, small, small chain. Uh, I actually have never been in because their gas is always more expensive. They call Quick Sack. Um, I mentioned a George Jones song. Um, but they've been around forever. And then we had Thornton's, the uh, gas station chain that was originally out of uh, Louisville, and I think they got bought by somebody. Um, I don't remember who. I can't, I can't keep track of these things. Um, you know, they've been here for a while with half a dozen locations. But I said, man, 7-Eleven coming in strong as is um, Circle K. I mean, you know, they're big dominant in every market they're in, but I'm just kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised that Nashville is still that city that everybody wants to go to, that everybody feels they can make a boatload of money in. I've done okay. Not done that well, though. Back next week, another Road Warrior, KevinMason.us, home to all of the Road Warrior videos. We've got them on YouTube, got them on Facebook as well. We're just heading down the highway, having a good time, and hope you are too. See you next week for a new Road Warrior. Thanks.